So today I'm gonna to be talking about how do I save money on the monthly expenses. In this business, you make your millions off of saving your pennies. Now you would think that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna give you a real quick math and I'm gonna show you how you can save thousands of dollars a year and actually resell your property for hundreds of thousands of dollars more. So in this game, for every $100 you increase the rent, you increase the property value roughly $20,000. That's on a five cap property. If you just lower the expenses by $100 a month, it increases your property value $20,000. It's the same thing because it's your net income that matters. So how do I do it? I have a 16 unit property here and I spent $15,000 rewiring this whole property. I have cable and internet in all of the units and I have one cable and internet bill. I pay about $350 a month. I got 18 cable boxes and you know, I got a 400 meg internet provided to all the tenants and I segregate it to make sure they don't use too much internet. I also have cable with HBO and all the sports channels included. They don't have to pay it separately. I get one bill for 350 a month. I include that in the rent. And because I do that, I can charge an extra $100 a month on their rent. $100 a month times 16 units, $1,600. Minus 350 is my expense, that's $1,250 a month. So $1,250 a month, that is how much the increased property value is. By bringing in an extra $1,250 a month, by doing that one cable hack, increased the property value $250,000. And what did it cost me? $15,000. When I'm doing the renovations, I do all of these things at one time. It takes a little bit longer, but you make a lot more money. So at $15,000, you have a 1,700% return on investment. I do the same thing with the gas bill. I have one gas bill for this whole property. I pay it and have it divided out within the tenants. My one gas bill for this whole property is $75 for 16 units. This return on investment, is, is massive. Now, when you have Airbnbs, it's even better. So when I first started, I was not doing this. I was doing it the, the cheap way, the, 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 how everybody starts, right? So I would first just remodel the floors, wait a year, then I would upgrade something else, wait a year, then upgrade something else. It feels financially easier for your pocket to do it that way. The issue is, it is not actually in your best interest. You wanna remodel everything at one shot. You wanna invest in the front, because after you do the upgrades and be able to raise the rent, and do additional upgrades and bring more efficiency to your property to reduce your expenses, your net income is so much more that when you're doing your refi, you've added so much value to your property that if you, again, you net $300 difference a month, meaning you make $300 more a month, that is $60,000 additional in your cash out refi. The value of your property increased $60,000. So if you're at 75% loan to value, that's an additional $45,000. That would cover the cost of a lot of your project. And in my scenario, I would put in $15,000 in the cable. I put in $15,000 into the uh, efficiency of the gas. That $30,000 expense actually increased my property value uh, roughly about $500,000. So at 75%, I got out an additional $375,000 on my refi. It only cost me 30 grand. I 10 x my return. So if you invest in the front end in the details, you did it one time, so you're not constantly fixing the drywall every time you're doing an upgrade. You're gonna make it in the back end and you'll make a lot of money. That is why I constantly say that because it, that's what I learned. It was such, such an eye-opening aha moment that don't be cheap. Do it right. Buy good quality material. Provide good quality to your tenants because if you do that, they're gonna stay. If you do that, they're gonna talk about you. My Airbnb rating is amazing because the quality of everything that I'm putting out here is really good. My bed is $1,200, like 12 to $1,500 depending on the price point. Because I bought 10 at one time, I only paid $700 a mattress. Now I'm providing an amazing mattress. People love it, high, high ratings. 
So remember guys, when you do this, when you're doing this, you're gonna end up getting tenfold on your return. And that is how you make yourself and differentiate yourself from others and make the money. Right now we're putting in the pool. The pool cost me $120,000 because I have to put in a commercial pool, not a residential pool. There's higher standards, equipment costs more and so on. But $120,000 for 16 units, that's actually cheap. That's $8,000 a unit, one-time cost. The return I'm gonna get on, on my rentals is gonna be at least 150 a month more per unit. That's gonna bring me in an additional, say roughly um, $2,400 a month is gonna equate out to, what do we say? $480,000 is the increased value of the property. It cost me 120 to put in the pool. In addition to that, obviously I'm bringing in $2,400 a month in additional rent. My pool maintenance only costs $400 a month. So I'm netting $2,000 more a month. You don't have to own multiple properties. You can actually just choose to own less properties that are higher quality, bring in more money, and put more money in your pocket. Less headache, more money. It's awesome. Like when I figured that out, people are like, oh, I have 100 units. My 30 units make more than your 100 units. And that's what I thought was awesome, you know? So again, invest in the front end. You're gonna be very happy.